Hey guys and welcome to Life with Mare. This is part two of my Pulse buying. This actually was not as impulsive as the um, the other haul that I just showed you in my part one. This one was a little bit premeditated. We planned it out. It was our Walmart online shopping. So the guy just came and dropped off all these groceries that you just seen and we spent another $300, just over $300 and we have an abundance of food. This is gonna last us, let's hope, for two months because all the other hauls that we did, everything has been completely depleted. We finished everything. We were down to our last few packs of meat. The bread was done, the fruits, the veggies. I think we had like one pear, one apple, one banana left in our fruit bowl. So let me show you guys what I picked up this time. I got a lot of stuff this time, so I'm not gonna show you every single thing and pick it up because it's gonna take way too long. So over here, I got some of these juices and these ones are the 960 mils. So we got guava, fruit punch, and apple juice. So those are really good to have. The kids don't drink too much juice, however, in this house, but once in a while, it's nice to have with your dinner. Also got some barbecue sauce for those chicken drumsticks that I got. Also some coffee mate for Ramil's coffee. He likes to put that in his coffee. Some mushrooms here, which I'll most likely be sauteing for our um, steaks and also putting into stews and stir fries. This is a new different chow mein noodle that I picked up. This is the West Indian style. I'm gonna try these out because the ones that we normally pick up, they didn't have online. Also got another margarine tin for all those delicious baking um, recipes that I make. And if you guys haven't checked out, you should check out my double chocolate M&M cookies. They're absolutely delicious. Got some hamburger buns over here. Three packs because we got this huge, huge pack of beef burgers from Walmart. And this is 20 burgers. So we have eight by three buns. Also got at a great value, three meat pizza. Never tried that before, but it was quite cheap actually, $3.50. So that's not bad for a frozen pizza. Also got these Cheddar Bay Biscuits, which I made a video about. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out as well. And yeah, these are also delicious to pair up with a okay, dinner. moving along to some green products that we picked up besides the hamburger buns. All right, so picked up two of these multi-grain sliced bread. We love buying this multi-grain bread. We also buy the flaxseed ones sometimes, or the 12 grain, whatever they have. Also some bagels, and to go along with the bagels, we picked up some cream cheese, and this is also the Great Value brand cream cheese, and we picked up three of them. Some are for bagels, and some is gonna be for a cheesecake recipe, which I'm gonna be making a video for as well, so stay tuned for that, guys. It's gonna be a delicious no-bake cheesecake, so you don't wanna miss that. Also, I figured with all the chicken breasts we have, I can season some up, cut up some peppers, some onions, some veggie sour cream, and make some quesadillas. So picked up some tortillas. That's also gonna be a really delicious recipe. Okay, so in part one of my video, I mentioned that I really like having quick eats, quick fixes, frozen foods. They're not the best, they're not the healthiest, but you know what? When you need something to eat and you just wanna make a quick lunch, they're really good and great to have. So my uncles actually gave me an idea. I've never bought these before, but they told me to try tater tots so that's what I bought tater tots with cheese on top Woo! I'm not supposed to eat dairy but occasionally I do and it's so delicious so I'm gonna try this as maybe a side dish with some hamburgers or something so tater tots I bought also some crinkle cut fries we can maybe make some poutine or have this on the side with our burgers and also some more pierogies because we love our pierogies with sour cream. Okay guys, also I wanted to show you these sausages that we picked up in another haul like a while ago and you must try them because they're absolutely delicious. These are the Great Value Fully Cooked Cheese Smoked Sausages. They are a must try. If you guys have this at your local Walmart, you need to pick it up. They are so okay, good. got some canned kidney beans, great for minestrone soup. I'll also link my video down below for my minestrone recipe which is so good, guys. 
Got some sour cream to go alongside those pierogies, baked potatoes, and even in my cheesecake recipe, it may or may not ask for this, so bought this as well. Gotta get those baby dills because I actually still have some Mott's Clamato, which we make Virgin Caesars with at home when we have movie nights. So this was a great steal. It was actually two for four dollars, so I picked up two jars of this. Another quick fix which I picked up were some macaroni and cheese. This is always something great and quick and easy that the kids like to eat. Some 2% milk for the kids. Got a few more snack items for the kids and for us, of course. So got these breadsticks with cheese. Again, not that healthy with the processed cheese, but something quick and easy that the kids can grab and eat on their own. Goldfish, these were on sale, I think three for seven. So got this flavor, the nacho flavor, the regular cheddar, and this pizza and Parmesan flavor. And I know in the States, they have like a tremendous amount of flavors. I'm so jealous because we love goldfish in this house. Also, the kids really like breadsticks. So we picked up this big pack of breadsticks with sesame seeds on them. So picked up this extra large size of extra virgin olive oil. I've never tried this brand before. It's the Terra Deliza. So I've been cooking a lot more with olive oil actually. And I really like the flavor that it brings towards your cookie. Also, if you drizzle it in salad, it's really delicious. So I needed some more of this. More junk items that I wanted to show you guys and then I'm gonna move along and show you all the fruits and all the vegetables that we picked up. You guys probably think that we just eat junk food in this house because that's all I ever show you guys is snack and junk food. So that's why we did this grocery haul as well because we were running out of all the fresh produce and we love fresh produce. We're not too big on frozen produce if you've noticed but the frozen produce that we do buy and it's for smoothies mainly are frozen fruits. So we have one bag of the mango chunks with sliced peaches, mango chunks as well as a four berry blend showing you guys the rest of the junk that we got and then I'll show you all the fresh fruit and vegetables. We picked up a few bags of the dill pickle great value chips, only a dollar. Decent tasting chips for a dollar. Also Ramil's favorite and also now Luciano's favorite, he calls them the blue chips, are the ruffles, sour cream and onion that we picked up a couple bags. And also we really like the great value brand chocolate so I picked up a few of these. Almond nougat, some almond and raisin, and almond and dark chocolate. Only a dollar and really flavorful and good quality chocolate. Last but not least, I love licorice. So I picked up a bag of these for myself, the Twizzlers Red Original Licorice. We actually had a limit of two 18 packs of eggs. So we picked up two of these. These are great for breakfast, also good for omelets in the middle of the day. Check out all these fruits and vegetables we got. We have, wow, a lot. This is definitely gonna last us and gonna keep us healthy as well while we're here at home in quarantine. What I got guys, got some fresh ginger, green onions, also got some zucchini. Over here we got some fresh corn, corn on the cob. We love corn on the cob. And you guys should actually try making my shrimp and corn bake, which I'll actually put the description, put in the description box as well for you. It's a really delicious meal. Picked up some Roma tomatoes, Bartlett pears, a bag of apples. The kids are going through these apples like nothing. They absolutely love them. Also, some English cucumbers. Cauliflower is a staple in our house. I picked up about two or three. Strawberries, ta-da, are finally on sale. They were $1.67, so we picked up four of these. The only thing with strawberries are they do um, get rotted quite easily, so we're gonna have to eat them pretty quickly. Also picked up a couple heads of broccoli. Got some limes cilantro for our pico de gallo this vegetable is called rapini if those of you don't know it it's an italian broccoli absolutely delicious also got some spinach here got a little bit of celery sweet bell peppers lots of bananas especially for our smoothies that we're going to be making this huge bag of garlic i wasn't expecting the garlic to be this much but we'll definitely put this to good use <coughs> baby carrots, avocados, baby bok choy, and some romaine lettuce for salads. Wow, I love looking at all these greens. It looks delicious. Also guys, picked up a couple more staples, a big bag of potatoes, and this humongous 10 pound bag of onions. We've already gone through one 10 pound bag, and now we're on our Last second. Last but not least guys, we of course had to stock up on paper towels and toilet paper. Got these huge packs here from Walmart. All right guys, that's the end of my haul. I'm extremely exhausted after putting away and shopping and doing all this wiping. I'm so exhausted, but we have so much food now. I feel so happy. I'm so ecstatic about having all this food in our house. The fridge is full, the freezer's full, and the pantry is completely full. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. and welcome
welcome to Life with Mary. Oh, there's something on my shirt. Um, what was it called? What was it called? And pretty okay. good, decent uh, flavor, uh, decent tasting chips for a dollar.